six of nineteen. Six of nineteen from three point range. I'm assuming that was an objective going in. Yeah, we were we were pushing out on them, trying to make them uh, you know, go to go to the basket and finish over our big guys and I think they struggled doing that. Alexis, talk about your night offensively. Um, I was trying to to be ready and just play hard and and to just come to me. I feel like just the team is just unselfish, so just be ready to do your role and when you like you get the ball, make the right play. That's what that's that's what it's about. How big is it playing these games, not only playing these games, getting their experience, but playing them at home? It's it's a great feeling, it really is. Like just to just to play at home and, and play with the seniors, you know, we never know when it's you know, we're trying to extend it as far as we can. And it's just a great feeling, you know, getting a win at home. You guys are starting to find some open looks from the three really in the last few minutes of the game. Was that just an adjustment on what uh, Utah Valley was doing defensively, or what was the key? Um, I think we wore them down all over the, uh, during, all through the game. Just We just pounded the ball, pounded the ball, and we knew that eventually they might break, and I guess that's what might happen. And just like, yeah, just like, we just play hard, and and I guess the shots, the shots came to us. Number two, the guard, he had seven points. He was our leading scorer. Justin was on him, it looked like, most of the game. Can you just discuss Justin and you guys' defensive effort on number two? I mean, Justin did a great job. You know, he, he focused all throughout uh, practice, you know, knowing that that guy, you know, he's, he's good. I think he was the player of the year. So, you know, just to hold a guy like that to seven points is big. And, you know, Justin took the role, you know. As uh, our athletic director, Michael Kelly, just told me, one of the things he asked in these games is that we don't shoot a lot of free throws, so we get done in less than two hours. So <laughs> mission accomplished there. It's amazing how fast the game can go when you only shoot six free throws and they only shoot seven. But, um, you know, we played a very, very good team tonight, very physical team, older, experienced, um, and they took it to us in the – in the lane in the first half, very physical, both scoring in the post and on the glass. Um, you know, challenged our guys a little bit at halftime because we were not rebounding the ball or, or guarding around the basket as well as we needed to. They were able to score almost all their points within four or five feet of the rim. Um, and then our guys responded extremely well in the second half. Our defensive effort was great. Um, you know, give our, my staff a, a ton of credit, two things they did. Um, suggested going to the zone, uh, which was effective for us. Um, slowed them down a little bit. And then we changed our ball screen coverage in the, about midway point of the second half. And that was very, very effective. It's one of the reasons they had 20 turnovers. Um, and our, you know, you can change stuff. And that's when, you know, you play in this thing, you know, because in the postseason, sometimes you got to change on the fly. Some things aren't working. You prepare for two days, and you don't know the teams as well. And now they're taking advantage of your coverages. So you got to make a change on the fly. And our guys did a great job, first the staff, in suggesting it. But then it doesn't matter if the guys don't execute it. And our guys did an unbelievable job of executing the, the new coverage on the ball screen. Um, they got up, and they hedged it, and they got the guard out of sorts a little bit. Um, and we were willing to give up a roll here or there without um, some of the other stuff that they were getting. So um, very pleased with, with the win. Great response by our guys. And again, I think you can tell these guys love playing. You know what I mean? They love playing. There's no question about that. And, um, you know, it was, it was fun to see because they, they responded ex extremely well. We weren't as good defensively in the first half around the rim, but our guys responded very well in the second half. Give our big guys credit. They did a very, very good job. And then, you know, David and LaQuincy did a great job of kind of managing the game from the guard spot. So that was good to see. And, you know, TJ Lang's been really good for us the last couple games. You know, defensively, we started JB on Tolson, who was the player of the year in the WAC. We held him to seven points and six turnovers. David guarded him some, but TJ did a great job on him as well. So um, we got some guys playing good basketball right now. and. You know, we, we keep getting better as a team. We were able to make some plays that even a month ago we wouldn't have been able to recognize or make it the, the right decision. So that's good to see. Coach, can you talk about the, the growth you've seen over these past two games, like particularly where you feel the team's gotten better? Yeah, you know, I, I, I think, again, sometimes you have to be put in the back against the wall. If you don't change or make, a, make the plays, you're, you're done playing. 
and that you, you know um, you have to go through those experiences to learn you know you have to be trial you know tested under fire a little bit to to do that you can't talk about it we can watch games and we watched some games together as a team last night you can watch them and you can see where a team screws up and I can harp on the guys about free throw line cutouts or blockouts at the end of the game or whatever but you have to go through it you have to go through it in this type of situation because earlier in the year if you make that mistake two days later you get to play again you don't get to play again if you make those mistakes now and and um it, it's it's been good this this is a group that our practices have been good spirited guys are getting better um we're shooting the ball we shot the ball well today so um, we're getting everything out of this right now, which is which is great to see. They um they kind of had to go inside because you were just taking away their perimeter thing. Was that kind of the key? Yeah, I mean those guys on the perimeter are good, you know. Um, but we we told them how good their big guys were. They they, um, and then they, you know, um, McDougal didn't play in the last game, uh, but he had played in other games where he played ten minutes and had eleven points and six rebounds. You know, they're big. You know, obviously, you have Mark Pope as the coach, who's done a great job there. 25 wins is the most wins that the program's ever had. He was a hell of a player now. I mean, it tough as tough can be, man. I mean, that guy was, was good. And then Chris Burgess, his assistant, I think was the number one player in the country coming out of high school at one point, went to Duke and then transferred to, I think, back to maybe BYU or Utah. So they got two big guys, so they know what the hell they're doing. Mm -hmm. And those guys have responded well. And those guys are older. And strong and physical. Outside of Houston, that's the most physical front line that we faced all year long. I said, Mayan and Antoon and Lex and Mike, they'll be in the cold tub in about 10 minutes because that was a that was a slugfest around the basket. It really was. You got you mentioned the per perimeter shooting. Um, you guys kind of beat them in their own game a little bit with your guys' three point shooting. Talk on that. Too. Well, the, the, and the threes we took were really good because they came within the offense and guys moving the ball and sharing the ball and making the extra pass. And they were good. Even the ones we missed, and we missed 15 of them, I thought every single one of them was, was a good shot, you know. Um, so that was good. 17 assists on 25 baskets is, is a good step for us. And, and we only had four turnovers in the second half. So that was, you know, in critical time we took care of the ball, which is a key area, guys, that we got to get better at. You know, we got to get better at taking care of the ball. Um, you know, we're a hard driving team. They, 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 they let us play a physical game, so not as many fouls called. So you got to adjust and be able to kick the ball out some. And we did that, and guys are ready to shoot. And our passing to those guys, it's a little thing. You know, they were, the passes were on time and on target, which is big, because you shoot the ball better. And our shooters were ready to shoot. Um, so it was good to see. It was good to see. Offensively efficient. In the second half, was was off the charts. Coach, okay. you're moving on to the semifinals of this tournament mm -hmm. now. Can you talk about the value of this tournament, not only for the players but the program as a whole so far? Yeah, I, I, as I said, we're going to try to squeeze every ounce of positives that we can get out of playing in this thing, and I think our guys have done that. More practice time, more individual skill time, with a purpose, you know. I love individual skill. There's nothing better that I love doing than being in the gym working out guys, but now you're doing it with a purpose because you're still getting ready for games. The experience of you know a quick turnaround, one or two days trying to get ready, develop a game plan, have the guys execute that game plan, understand it, and then execute it. And then like today, may have to adjust during the game. All those things are so important um, in terms of our development as a, as a program. As I said, Said it after the last game. It's it, imperfect progress, is a good way to put it, and and, and you got to embrace that. And I think our guys have really done a good job of that. They were excited to play. They were excited in that locker room. They were ex excited about finding out, you know, who we're going to play, where we're going to play them, all those different things. Um, so I, I think again, we're just trying to build some momentum in a program that didn't have any. You know, didn't have any. Um, and when you look even, you know, back to the last three or four games last year, it's been pretty good. You know, it's been pretty good. And, um, you know, we got everybody back except for two guys heading into next year. 
But the best part about that is our guys ain't worrying about next year. They're trying to get, you know, trying to create something very, very special this year. Coach, you guys dropped into the 2-3 zone in the second half. Yep. Force a turnover, and then Xavier comes out and hits a three, kind of ice the game. Does he take that shot maybe a month ago? No, and here's a big thing. He took a shot maybe two possessions before when we were we were executing well, and, and, and I jumped him a little bit, you know, because it was off of one pass or two passes, and he took a three. So I jumped him. And then two, play, you know, two possessions later, he, he brings it up. We're setting up the offense. They don't guard him. He rises up and shoots it. So, no, he wouldn't have done that a month ago. Uh, and he kind of gave me a look when he, when he made the shot, which is good. <laughs> Which is good because every great team I've been a part of got guys that you can ju you can get on them, you can yell at them. The big phrase right now out there in college basketball, you can yell at them, and they got to respond. They got to respond, and our guys know that. And uh, you know, uh, yeah, I do it with Q and David all all the time. So X isn't going to be anything different. Um, but that was a that was a big shot for us. And he rose up like he's been making those all year long, you know. And, and that's a dip change in the program, too, now. That's a little bit of a change in the program, too, where guys have enough confidence and, and know they, they don't shoot it being afraid, you know. And, that's a, and he was good today. He was really good defensively again, which he kind of always is. So, but we made that stretch. Q picked up that third foul. We had to go with him. And we got three freshmen on the court, and we extended the lead. And that was big for us. Can you talk about the game Lex had? Yeah, you know, obviously six for six in the first half. Um, again, you know, uh, he responded. I didn't at last play the first half. He, he blew a coverage and then get didn't get the rebound. Um, and White, I think it scored maybe three straight possessions for them. So he, you know, Lex came out in the second half and responded well. You know, big three that he hit, rebounded the ball. We were hurting on the glass. We didn't re minus six in the first half. Um, but again, you know, for a freshman in this in the second game of the postseason to get another double double at 18 and 10, you know, sometimes it becomes just commonplace. And and as a coach, you, you try to fight that. But I just expect to look down at the stats and see them with double digit points and double digit rebounds. You know, um, but two for three from the three, which is good, because that's the next phase that he has to be able to do. He has to be at the 38 plus range from the three, because it's just gonna, he's pretty good with the ball. So he, he, he can drive the ball. He's good scoring around the basket. Obviously he's a high level rebounder, uh, but being able to consistently, especially in our offense, being able to spread the court so our guards can drive it, him knocking down threes is really, very, very important for us. You guys leave this game for 33 minutes. <laughs> Stark contrast to, to last time out. Talk about not having to chase the game and having the lead for most of it. Yeah, it feels a lot better. I'm not nearly as tired as I was after that last one. I can tell you that. Um, you know, you, every game is different, ebbs and flows in the game. They take, I think, a 39-37 lead in the second half, and we respond with maybe like a 15-2 to two yep. run at that point. You know, our guy, we, we talk all the time about responding. You know, E plus R equals O. You can't control the, all the events, but you can control your response, which usually determines the outcome. Our guys do a good job of that. You know, be it good, good events, bad events, you, the thing you can control is your response to those. And usually the more disciplined the response, the better the outcome. And our guys did a good job because we went from six, they cut it, and then they took the lead, and then we, we went right back at it, and that was, that was good to see. Again, uh, all these things, you take a step back, and they're just – Little marks of growth that you're that you're starting to see. How big is it to have all these home games in the postseason? Well, it, for me, it's it, it's great. You know, um, you know, just just you know, getting the, the fans here to, to be part of this is great, and uh, you know, getting the students here. Hopefully, if we if we get it done, we get to keep playing here and play some more games here would be great. Um, the second thing is, for me, the, the challenge with these times, and I've been through it when you make a tournament run, is how much school you miss. And we're, we're not missing any, which is great, which is great.